السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ فرینڈس ان دس ویڈیو وی ول ڈسکس سیکنڈری گراؤنڈ ان سوئچ ماؤٹ پاور سپلائی اور لو سائڈ گراؤنڈ ان اینی سوئچ ماؤٹ پاور سپلائی بیسیکلی اٹ از اے کوشچن فرام ون آف مائی ویور دیٹ ہاؤ وی اوبٹین دا گراؤنڈ ان سیکنڈری سائڈ آف ایس ایم پی ایس وین وی سی اے سوئچ ماؤٹ پاور سپلائی اور اینی ٹرانسفارمر بیسڈ پاور سپلائی اٹ ہیو ٹو پورشنس the one primary the second that is secondary it is called high side it is called low side this side is connected to the line 110 or 220 volt and this side it is connected to load if we look at this circuit it have partition here from this side to this side it have no physical connection if we look this transformer it have some pins here and some pins here so this side it have connection with high side that means hot side and this side have connection with low side physically secondary and primary it have no connection there is no electrical connection so voltage and current the power is transferred from this portion to this portion and magnetic flux the magnetic flux is provided in the primary and the magnetic flux will cut the secondary winding and we will take output voltage let me show some example i have this transformer this side is output side because it have many strands in parallel many wires are in parallel so it is output side if we will put it here then we will disassemble it and we will see it normally we apply line and neutral to this power supply or any two pin power supply it will go to some filter after that it will ac voltage will go to bridge rectifier and it will provide us positive and negative voltage so this negative voltage it is called primary ground so this primary ground is dc ground from dc line there is another ground that is neutral neutral grounded that is connected to earth point but in the circuit after passing the, through this bridge rectifier when we connect to a capacitor here we have bridge rectifier and it will reach to this capacitor positive voltage through this jumper are reaching to the capacitor negative side is connected from this point this point to the capacitor so we have one ground here now this voltage will go to this transformer and transformer is connected to any kind of switch mosfet igbt transistor anything so this is our circuit here we have some drive network that is called smps controller now the current is flowing in this primary it is called ip primary current i primary so the current will flow in this winding it will generate a magnetic field because when in any conductor there will a current flow it will generate magnetic field in the winding in the wire electronic current from negative terminal to positive terminal and in sense of conventional current so current will flow to positive to negative in the both cases the theory will same the current have to flow it have just only one path through this tra transistor switching device to the primary and it will complete its path here but in the secondary we have different type of windings one winding we connect a diode and capacitor and we take output 
I will make a simplified circuit. When we connect a load here, so current will flow in this circuit. How? We are generating magnetic field here. This magnetic field will cut this winding and it will induce the voltage in the secondary because it is a rule when we apply current it generates magnetic field when a varying magnetic field will cut some winding it will generate voltage so these voltage will become as a voltage source so when it will connect it to some load it will cause to flow a current when we connect to this diode and this capacitor it will rectify the voltage and it will make DC voltage if we don't connect this capacitor this diode and capacitor so the bidirectional current will flow in the load now we are making it unidirectional DC current so it is the first ground here one is high side second is low side so this ground is called secondary ground secondary ground so this winding is providing high side side and low side similar as in our power transformer we have phase or line or hot wire and we have a neutral wire so that is low side now we have some other example for this winding sometime we have center tape winding in this case one diode is connected here and here we connect a diode and this diode is now our ground point this is zero volt with respect to this with respect to this if it is giving 12 volt positive now it will give negative 12 volt now we have another thing here if this multi output transformer it have this winding separate so this ground have no concern with this winding this common point now we are taking output from these three pins in this condition in this case this circuit have separate ground and this circuit have this ground in the same transformer we are taking two grounds then there is another condition if we have same this transformer we take one line as a ground common the first winding it will give voltage output here and we will connect a capacitor between this and this we have another winding now we are connecting this capacitor here and here we are taking the second output we have a third winding we are connecting this diode in reverse bias and we have so for example I am taking 5 volt here 5 volt here 12 volt here 12 volt here positive 12 volt and negative 12 volt this winding set and this winding set have difference what that this ground line which we are using in this center taped winding is separated from this this winding but here we are making the three windings common this point and this point at a one pivot one point this rectifier will provide negative voltage and it will charge this capacitor we will take negative voltage from here and out of output of this winding will go to this line output of this winding will go to this line now we are making a one reference point in the secondary so this ground or this ground or this ground 
have no concern with the primary count. So it is called isolated output, isolated power supply. What is the isolation? That it is isolated from the line voltage. Anyone will touch to this voltage, he will not take any shock, any electrical shock. Why? We have no physical electrical connection with the primary side. I have this winding. All the windings are insulated through this insulator, through this insulation tape. So we have one winding between these two points, this point and this point. And then we have insulation here. So all windings are insulated. They are just only working on magnetic field, the changing magnetic field. Now we have this winding that is here. So it is primary winding. It have many turns here. Primary and auxiliary winding and output winding that are separate to each other. This winding is now insulated. There was insulation between this wire and this wire. Now we have another insulation tape. We can see now. When I removed this tape, so this winding, the output winding is here. So all the windings are insulated. So it is called isolated power supply. We have another condition. From this capacitor, from this point, from this point, I will take this point so that these voltage are here. If you take positive voltage here and negative here, at this capacitor, this is here, and we collect a switching device here, and we collect a switching IC here, and we give this pulse to this choke, this, this inductor and we take output, it is called buck regulator, unisolated, unisolated power supply. So this power supply and this power supply, these two are different. Here we are using the primary ground in the output, but here the secondary ground is different. The low side ground is isolated from the primary ground. Let's check in practical transformer. If we see this transformer, we have some points here in the primary side and we have one, two, three, four, five, five points in the secondary. So these five points out of five, one, two, three points are common, one, two, two points are common at at this point. So it is coming here and it is connected to this pin that is here. What is that point? That is connected to the capacitor negative end of this capacitor. And then if you move forward it is connected to this capacitor. So it is connected to the second capacitor negative end. And if we check this this end it is connected to this point through a jumper, this jumper here. It is going to rectifier and rectifier is connected to heat sink here, diode. And this rectifier is connected to the capacitor positive terminal and positive terminal. So our current will flow in these capacitors. So this winding will pump the voltage. These voltage will charge this capacitor and current will flow here in this load and a charging current will flow here that the winding will provide voltage rectify voltage and capacitor will take the charging current from this winding and the load will be driven through this capacitor when it will charge the voltage and charging time 
the winding will provide voltage to load and the capacitor when it is in negative half peak at that time in reverse bias the capacitor will drive the load so it is one winding transformer if you check another transformer that is in this power supply primary and secondary side so this side is hot side this side is hot side it have a PFC choke and it have different type of regulators it have a standby power supply it have the main power supply so standby power supply have a single output here in this winding we can see it here so the transformer winding is here here is just only one winding but if we look this transformer so here we have one winding from this point to this point second winding to this point so we have common point here winding is from this point to this and second winding is here so we have two windings and they are providing two outputs here in the output so our common point will here when the transformer is switching from primary to secondary the magnetic core and other all electronics generate noises so these noises and the load noises are induction switching noises they generate a noise also in the secondary side so this secondary ground noise so we have this this pin that is secondary ground and here we have primary ground primary ground is here at this point of the bridge rectifier it is connected to the negative side of this capacitor so it is negative side this ground primary ground and secondary ground are coupled to each other through a class y capacitor so it will reduce it will remove all the noises in the secondary so friends i hope so this video is informative if it is informative hit the like button if you have any question let me know in the comment box thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh